here we have a large apse mosaic depicting St. Apollinaris in the St. Apollinari Church in Ravenna, Italy, where his body is also buried. Like many early Christian churches, it is very undecorated on the outside as a church, yet on the inside it contains many of these wonderful mosaics, especially the ones in the back of the apse near the altar. When looking at the saint up close, you see that his head is surrounded by a large golden halo. This golden halo is very Byzantine style and is often, often used in the early Christian church, specifically Eastern early Christian church, to depict holy figures. Another early Christian church or Byzantine style is the linear drapery of the saint. You see here that is a large, is, there's a large difference between the drapery used here and the drapery used in classical Roman and Greek art in the West. That drapery in the West you, uh, was used to make figures look as real and natural as possible, where the figure, where you can see here the saint looks not nearly as real and very stiff. And then another stylization used in Byzantine art is the long straight nose and face of the saint. You see how he is very stern and unreal and is completely different from the classical period. Also with the saint you see in his feet that they are very unrealistic. They are quite small compared to the rest of the proportion of the figure, as well as they are pointed out awkwardly and also seem to look like they aren't touching the ground. These feet are very similar to Justinian, Bishop Maximus, and attendants in the mosaics within the San Vitae Church, also in Ravenna, Italy, which was created by Justinian. When looking at the background of the figure behind the saint, you see a large and jeweled cross directly above the saint himself. This cross is, symbol, is signifying the location of heaven and the significance of the death of Christ. You see it floating in the air in a large golden sky. To the, looking at the figure of the saint, you see to the right and to the left there are 12 sheep. These sheep possibly signify a congregation under St. Apollinaris where he is preaching a sermon perhaps or talking to these sheep as they are all their heads and their eyes are looking directly at the saint himself. If you were to look above the saint and above the sheep, you look to the right where there are two lambs and on the left there is another single lamb. These lambs are also signif uh, they also signify the martyred apostles of Jesus. How they are all they are not looking at the saint, however, they are looking at the cross representative of the death of Christ. You can see that because there is no three-dimensional space, this difference between the classical portraiture and now the mosaics of the Byzantine era, that this is no longer of the physical world. There is no volume. This is an attempt by the artist to separate the church from everyday life. How this depiction of something so holy, such as Christ and his dead saint in the apse of the dome of the physical church itself is an extremely holy space. Keeping in theme with the idea of holy, you see above in this large golden sky around the cross, you see an angel to the left and to the right and a hand directly above the cross, possibly to guide and to grab the earthly life forms and bring them up to this realm of God. Looking at the apse overall, you see it has joint meaning with the altar below it, how the priest would celebrate the sacrament of the Eucharist and would celebrate with the congregations of the congregation and how each member of a congregation would have to come up to the priest to receive this Eucharist and directly above them they would see this large saint and cross signifying the true meaning of and importance of the death of Christ.